Hey friends, how to make crab cakes, an easy recipe coming up next. I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and today we're going to how to make crab cakes, an easy recipe. Y'all know this is Royal Weight Loss meets real life here. I'm going to make some keto, an easy keto recipe for crab cakes of how you can have high fat, moderate protein, low carb crab cakes um, that are delicious, that are super simple, and that you can do yourself and even freeze them afterwards. So let's dive in. But first, if you want my keto diet meal plan for free, down in the description link below, my gift to you for being part of the Countess of low carb community. Let's dive in. Okay. So for this keto recipe, the ingredients that you're going to need are going to be a half a cup of mayonnaise, making sure that there's not soybean oil. Ideally, primal mayonnaise is awesome. Sir Kensington mayonnaise is great, making your own mayonnaise. Or I use Duke's, it does have soybean oil, but no sugar added. Ingredient number two is gonna be one large egg. You're gonna need a tablespoon of mustard. Y'all, I had some extra packets right back in there from a takeout order. We didn't have any mustard, so I used those. So use what you have in your pantry. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of hot sauce, one pound of crab meat. However, you can use whatever protein you want. If you have leftover shrimp, you have leftover lobster, you have leftover fish, you have leftover something, use that. That's literally how this recipe sprang um, about is because we had leftover crab legs, king crab legs from Christmas Eve and wanted to use these so they didn't waste, so simply just put them in there. So any leftover seafood protein you have, I would encourage you using this recipe. I also used a full cup of pork panko, or which I will put in the description link below, or you can mash up pork rinds, whatever you feel so inclined. I happen to love pork panko, I think it's delicious, but you can also mash up pork rinds. And then and I did add one tablespoon of my Fresh Jacks, my Keto Chop House, one tablespoon of that. I will link down below Fresh Jacks. I like them because there's no creepy carbs in their spices and they are organic, but you could use one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm unclear if there's creepy carbs in here with malodextrin, malodextrose, or things like that. It's not saying that those are listed. However, I, I love Fresh Jacks. I know that their ingredients are clean and there's no potential puffery that may come with these crab cakes. And I did use five tablespoons of butter in my frying pan to fry these suckers up along with the broiler. So let's walk through how to make the crab cakes, this super, super easy keto recipe that you can do really simply and I'll show you how to freeze it too. So I have filled it up with my meat. Here's my reject bowl. I will double bag this and put this in the garbage can. If whatever protein you have, you could just use fish. You could use, um, if you wanted to even use like canned tuna to make tuna cakes. So don't let budget stop you in using this recipe. Literally just get your whatever seafood protein you want, leftover shrimp, and um, just put. The, make sure you have them in a separate bag, and then I'm gonna go dump these out. I'm gonna make one portion for my family, non-keto style, and then mine keto style. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is if you do have crab legs, pick them off, make sure there's no shells. If you're using fish, make sure that there's no bones in there. Get all the meat going. I did literally use a digital scale, which I will link down below, to measure out my pound of meat to make sure I wasn't having too much. Although sometimes I'm like the Sesame Street chef, lo, 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 and I do use too much, which is why I needed the digital scale for one pound of crab meat. Um, then I mix that in there, and then I also mix my pork panko, or your pork rinds, together, mix it all together in a big bowl. Separately, for the wet ingredients, I mix my mayonnaise, my egg, I beat my egg up, mix it in with the mayonnaise, mix in the mustard, mix in the Worcestershire sauce, mix in the hot sauce, and also mix in my Old Bay seasoning all together. And then once the liquids were mixed up, I combined it with the dry ingredients and mix those all together. You simply cover it with a lid, put it in the refrigerator for one hour to help make the pork rinds mushy. If you skip this step, you're gonna have crunchy bites within your crab cakes and they're not gonna taste as good as they possibly could. So while my mixture, my wet and dry ingredients are mixed together, are in the refrigerator, I will slice up one lemon wedge. You don't have to have a lemon, I personally just like it. I will then heat up my skillet, put my butter in there while, right before I'm ready to take it off. So I do have a hot fried skillet before my crab cakes come out so I can literally just plop them onto the pan and let them fry up. I am getting my pan set to be heated on um, medium heat. She's like ready for some. Now I've taken these out and I'm gonna scoop them into a third a cup um, and put them on the plate so I can simply just fry them. 
Once I take my wet mixture out of the refrigerator, I simply use one third of a cup. These ones, the shapes are kind of gnarly. I like scooping them to these because they literally are crab cake style. I will put them together in my hands and then once I have measured them out like this, I will mash them because I like to make them thinner because I do like my crab cakes a little bit uh, crispier and I do have a four-year-old so I want to cook them faster but you could make them thicker by making them in your patty shape by using one third of a cup. This recipe will you yield you eight crab cakes. Next I cooked my keto crab cakes in the, the fryer which was basically my hot butter making sure the butter is not too hot so it's not browning but enough that when you put the crab cake in it'll give a little hot snap crackle pop on there and then I took my spatula after they had cooked for three minutes and I squished them down. It's a technique that Smashburger uses for their burgers and it helps thin them out and then I will flip them over on the other side to make them crispy. Three minutes on each side after I've cooked them for three minutes on each side, I will get out um, some parchment paper. I personally love Reynolds Wraps parchment pop-up paper, which I will link down below. Put your broiler on high, stick those bad boys in after you've pan fried them. I like, you could simply eat them that way. I like having my crab cakes a little bit crispy on top. It's personal flavor preference. So I put them in the broiler for two and a half to three minutes to make sure that they're not getting charred, but they do get crispy with the pork panko on top of them. I take them out and they're ready to eat. You can eat them with a keto tartar sauce. You can eat them with just straight up. You can eat them with butter. You can eat them however you wanted to eat them, but these are the best keto crab cakes or low carb crab cakes. A simple recipe. After you've taken them out, let them cool for a few minutes, then put them on parchment paper put or foil put them in a ziploc bag and plop them flash freeze them into your freezer you can keep those for up to two to three months frozen in there and then simply just put them in your oven for 10 minutes or so flip them on the other side for 10 minutes um, and have them for a follow-up meal we personally for meal prep like to make several batches and then that way I can just pull them out of the freezer which I do have one in there now for me to eat later on. If you found this video helpful smash that like button and click subscribe with the bell notification and sign up for my free keto diet meal plan my gift to you for being part of the Countess of Low Carb community. I'll see you next time. Make it a powerful day. Bye friends!